Hi everyone, it's Gail, and I am here with kind of a part two of Saturday, uh, Scrappy Saturday. And before I start, I wanted to say that um, there is going to be a little surprise at the end of this video. And if um, you're on your honor not to skip forward, but <laughs> I have no way of checking that. But anyway, so there will, so stay tuned at the end for a little bit of a surprise. And uh, let's say hi and hugs to Eva, Mousy Deb, Jackie, and Pam. Thank you so much for watching and your kind comments and everything. Okay, well, yesterday we were working on this batch of ephemera. I didn't get anything sewn. I didn't get anything done beyond what we got done. So, but I am going to continue with this pile of scraps. And I actually, I have this other little folder that's more like whole pages. But there's some smaller pages. We might even dive into that if we have time. Who knows? I have some other ideas for these that I thought I might do besides tags. So, um... We're going to go ahead and get started, and I am going to look at my watch here. I want to make sure that I get in our surprise at the end. Okie dokie, let's get rocking and rolling. Um, kind of need to make myself some space. I got myself all organized as far as... I'm going to put all of these on the sewing machine because... They're, well, they're actually to the point of inking, but we'll ink and sew. Um, because I kind of wanted to work on this bit first. I actually had a couple of ideas for this. So I'm going to cross stack those on here. And we're just going to move it all kind of over here. Okay. Now we just have these two in the way. All righty let's get to it so the first idea i had i had all these little coffee dyed strips from doing what i don't know what i did with those oh the pages in the reader's digest book that's right so i decided to make little hermelinda tags and hermelinda aguilar on um on youtube had this idea years ago of um having a little flip taggy thing and so that's what these are going to be because I think they're a tiny size and yet there's quite a bit of journaling space once you flip them open. So let's pop these together real quick. I'm just going to sew them. Once again, this is kind of more or less a mass making that's happening here. And um, so that'll be good. So I have to apologize. <laughs> apologize to my Puerto Rican friends. Um, it was pointed out to me <laughs> that I said something about having friends in another country. Well, I know Puerto Rico is, is part of the U.S., but there's an ocean, and so, <laughs> I don't know. I know there's an ocean to Hawaii, too, so, you know, I don't know. Let's just say that when you're doing a video, and you're basically... Basically, you're talking from a stream of consciousness, right? I am just going to cut these, and I don't care if they're perfectly the same size. I'm just going to quick, like, chop them. Um, so when you're talking, and it's like a stream of consciousness, it's you don't always you don't always say the right things. Let's just say you don't. Um, and so. Please don't judge me harshly because of what's in my head that comes out my mouth. <laughs> oh, I don't know. Now you know what a scary place it is to be in, in, in my brain. Okay, so cool. We've got these. And um, all we need to do is maybe pop a little decoration on the front, and those are ready to go. So cool. I'm going to set those over on this done pile and onward to the next thing. So a lot of these strips, when I was, um, when I was sorting, I was like, tag, tag, tag. 
but I also thought these are good um, side tucks and or belly bands. So let's see, I wanted to get to these down here because I have actually all of these, even the, yeah. Because um, I have some things coming up that I think might be good for this. So I am thinking, mm -hmm. let me go measure one thing per before I get going on this. Talk amongst yourselves. Nine and a half. Nine and a half. So let me see if these are, oh my gosh, these two are just about perfect. This one's a little bit long, but we could maybe, we could maybe make a belly band like that or something. No, it's just, it just needs a tiny bit cut off is all. Okay. And then this one. Think would work too okay um but i don't want i don't want all pockets i don't want all belly bands so let's just let's just get cutting first i want nine and a half is what i want on these i think this is the side i'm going to cut off okay Easy peasy, that's a good little cluster piece. So I'll throw it with my cluster pieces over here. Okay, and this one, you do nine and a half. Puts it right there. Okay, that's okay. This could be a little journal card. I'm just gonna around the corners and make that just a little journal card to pop in a pocket. Got to decorate it, but that's okay. All right, so put that over on the finished pile. Okay, I think I'd like this one to be a belly band. Okay, um, so I'm gonna leave it as is. I'll probably run lace down here or a border strip or something like that and or put something here, like a, a label or something. So there's decorating to be done on that, but we can just leave it like that. Then if we don't use this in the book that I'm thinking, we can cut it off to eight and a half to go in a normal journal. Okay, thank you for letting me talk through that. <laughs> okay, this one. I think I'm going to make this one a pocket, side pocket. So, oh boy, I have, I have little half circles everywhere. So let's pop a little right in the middle. I'm just eyeballing. It doesn't have to be exact. So that's going to be a side pocket on a page. Pretend like this is your page. Um, this would be a side pocket like that. Okay, so those two. Then these, I was kind of thinking the same thing. Little side pocket. I think that's what I'm going to do. This one, I'm going to pop the, that there. I'll probably put this one on the same way. And then I, and right here, I don't get any flowers. So, okay. So those are side pockets and a belly band ready to go. All right. So I'm going to stick that in the done pile. Um, I'll show you the done pile when we get done. <laughs> oh dear. Okay. So tags like this one. Oh my gosh, that's a cute tag just like that on that side, isn't it? Okay, so I just need to cut off this little this little edge thing that we got going here. 
Okay. That's a cute little piece that could be used to decorate or something or on a cluster. I'm going to put it with the cluster pile. And that's, that's cute, don't you think? I mean, I had looked at the other side and just thought the other side, I'm just going to, there's a slight strip of white there, which granted, um, distressing would take care of. I think I'm just going to round the corners at the top rather than um, a slant, just because I don't want to get rid of too much of that. So that's going to be a tag this way. So I'll sew around that. It's all ready to write on the back. Bada bing, bada boom. I might put a little uh, word or something there. Okay, so there's that. Let's see. This one is kind of ready to be a tag. It's not straight, though. Those kind of things bug me. So, I'm going to put that up there, and we're going to straighten that off. Well, that does look straight, but I think it's straighter now. <laughs> oh, I hope everybody's having a good Sunday. I'm sure, I'm sure I am. <laughs> Uh, you know, my my filming ahead. I I I never know from day to day what day it is. Let alone what countries are what what countries see, what what locations are part of the United States of America. Oh, I'm sorry, you guys. I embarrassed myself. Okay, so um, this one, I think what I would do is put a little torn piece of um, coffee dyed paper on that. That's what I think I would do, but I'm going to set it aside for now. This one, so pretty. Oh my gosh. That just needs to be a tall tag, doesn't it? Maybe just this way. Um, so, anyways. I'm sure I'm going to have a good day. Gosh, Mike and I last night, it was so fun. We got to watch a little college basketball there. You know, they're getting down to where they're going to be doing the whole March Madness thing. And it's, um, it's quite fun. You know what? I think this one would go in my little punchy do here. Yes, it would. So I hope I didn't goof that up by already. Nope. Came out just great. Perfect. Okay, in the tag pile. So I keep I keep thinking about the surprise at the end. I keep thinking I, I that I want to I want to say something. <laughs> I'm not supposed to. <laughs> Self imposed. I'm not supposed to. Okay. Let's see what we have in this pile. Obviously, this is a great is a great tag. So that's gonna go. And I do know about the trick with the credit card edges. It's just as easy for me to flip the corners, to be honest. Um, but I know I, I have one of those. I know about it and everything. Okay, so all of these, once again, ooh, look at that one. Oh, by the way, this is um, from yesterday. This collection is Lucky Stars. I'm so sorry I couldn't think of it yesterday. But isn't this going to be a pretty tag? Yeah, it's Lucky Stars. See, and that just needs something there. And perfect tag. So around it. Okay, it's in the tag pile. Okay, what I was thinking with these is how... First of all, how long are they? They are seven and not quite a quarter. So this one I think would be a fun like little side tuck and or border on a page even though it'd have like an inch and a half of space on each end like let me just grab one of these like that 
it would still be cute. Okay, that's what I'm going to do with that. Um, just put that piece of paper there in case we need it again. I am just going to do the edge here and make it a little more, a little more fancy. We'll just give it a punch. This is kind of another another tool in my craft room that I need to use more use it more often, you know, is are these edge punches. Um most a lot of the ones I have are Martha Stewart and I got them at Joann's and or estate sales. The one estate sale that I was telling you guys about that had a million stamps, it also had hundreds <laughs> of punches. So, so how cute will that be on a, on the side of a page like so? And then you could tuck something under there. You can just glue there, right? I think that'll be cute. Okay. Because it's sewing, I need to sew around it. But let's see. I'll stick those over here. Okay. Let's let's look at the rest of these and see what we think. That one could be just a cool pocket on the edge, I think. Or do I want to put it like on this side? Then I can take a notch out. I think I'm going to notch that one. And make it a little side tuck. Okay. That one done. That's kind of, that one's really cool. Ooh. How about a sideways belly band with that one? Yep, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to cut this right off. And this one's going to be a sideways belly band. So now I just have to remember <laughs> when they're in my pile. What did I think? But if it doesn't have notches, it's not a tag. It's a sideways belly band. I'm just going to make a stack of these. This is going in the cluster pile. Okay. That one could be a sideways belly band, couldn't it? Yep, another belly band. Okay, and what else do we have? This one's the size of a sideways belly band already. Okay. I think I'm going to make this a sideways belly band just because it's not as thick. So... Boy, am I going to have some decorating to do, huh? It's going to be crazy. Okay, these all, I think I'm going to just make them into tags. Okay. Let me get them all cut. Like this one, I'm just going to go with the pattern on this one and make a little tag and a littler tag. This one I'll do in half. These are six inches, so I'll just, well, nope, they're not six inches. <laughs> so I have a big tag and a littler tag again. This one I think should be six inches, shouldn't it? I don't know. Nope, sure isn't, but that's okay. I'll go three and a half on this one and see if we're closer to the middle. 
closer. I'm gonna go with the pattern and chop that right there. I don't know about you, but I often don't have little tags when I need them, I feel like. Um, oh, there, I got that one almost the same. Not that it matters, because it doesn't. I'm gonna go with the pattern on this and chop right by that line. Okay, so there's a whole bunch of little tags. And these are all the same width. So what I'm gonna do is cut one and then use it as a pattern for the rest of them. So I don't even have to do the flippy corner thing. I could grab my, my credit card, I know. <laughs> Can you tell I've been getting lots of help lately? which is often appreciated, and but sometimes too much, if you know what I mean. So, did I tell you about, I watched a video, um, I'm not subscribed to the lady because, um, for lack of a better word, she does more cutesy sort of crafts than, than I do. Um, but so I'm not subscribed, but I saw she came up on my recommended and I saw the title, which was something like, I'm so tired of rude comments or something like that. <laughs> and so I had to watch, well, bless her heart. She just really laid it out on the line about how it is to be putting yourself out there on videos. And she said, she said, you know, my YouTube channel is my online home. She said, you wouldn't come into my physical home and be rude to me. So why do you think you can come into my online home and be rude to me? <laughs> And she even gave examples of the rude comments and everything. It was, was it was well done. I thought it was well done. She was um, kind but firm, let's just say. <laughs> and uh, yeah. But um, one of the comments on her video was kind of my philosophy. Look, I have all these tiny tags. Those will be fun. Um, which is... You know, I mean, I read them because I read all my comments, but then I delete them and do my best to forget them <laughs> because, you know, it can, it can be rather upsetting and everything. Okay, I feel like these are really good tags because they're kind of plain and, you know, again, I'd probably put... Um, coffee dyed paper so that you could write on them but let's see is there anything else I would want to do with those I mean I could do them maybe I'll do two that way this one and this one and I'll do this one and let's do these like you know my little flip down thing this one could be written on as is so it's really good um, yeah so anyway I thought I thought her video was well done and it's it's somewhat it's somewhat um, comforting to know that you're not the only one that gets Occasionally rude comments. She made a, a really good point that I have to share with you. She said, she said, what, um, what colors I choose 
the and the process I use and how I talk and those kind of things. She said those are personal. She said, um, so yeah, this will go on a page and then you'll just flip it down. Okay, that's good. Let's do this one. Which way do we want to do it? Gosh, I love that. I think I'll go this way. Um, anyway, like the colors that I choose or where I put something on and even sometimes how I do things, those are all personal choices. Those are all that person's, that person's, um, what would you say, artistic choices. And, you know, that's not okay to question. It's their art. You know what I mean? So, yeah, so I thought that was good that she brought that up. Um, I remember getting a comment one time. Um, I hate green, so I hate your project. I'm like, okay. You know, so, you know, those kind of things just better left unsaid, let's just say. Okay, there's that one. And then these, I'm going to make it a text. Um, so, yeah, so anyway, <laughs> that was... That was a good one. And I have had people comment about how I talk, too. Um, I don't know. One lady gave me a medical term for the way I say my S's. So, whatever. <laughs> so, anyway, you know, commenting on personal things may be best left unsaid because they're oftentimes not something somebody can change. I mean, I'm not going to say to somebody with a Southern accent or an Australian accent or a UK accent, you know, you need to not be talking with that accent. <laughs> That's just silly. So anyway, she made some really excellent points. And she said, she said, first of all, it's free content, and um, and second of all, there's lots of choices. You don't have to watch. Let's see. Let's get that strip off of this one. Um, let me move that. Move that. Get myself all bound up here with stuff. So anyway, yeah, it was it was, it was good. I. I can't remember the name of the channel or anything because it's not one that I subscribe to or anything. But but obviously she had had she had had a run on stuff like that. I think this one is going to be tagged because it's real thick. So let's do six inches on this one. This one would be a great tag as well. Gosh, hard to decide which side you'd want to keep on that one. But that's a decorating decision. We don't have to decide that right now. We're just making the bases. Um, I want to get through this pile so I can get on to the next pile. This one, same thing. Six. Perfect size tags. Perfect. This one's a little wide, but sometimes you want a little wider tag, and that's really pretty. Okay, let's do that at six inches. Okay, and what else do we have here? Oh, this one is so beautiful. Um, the Stamperia paper. I think I'm going to make this like a triple fold thing because it says thank you right there. So I'm going to do something different with that. This one's going to be a tag. Okay. And this, what was I thinking? I was thinking about maybe tags with it. How big, how big is it? It's six and a half or something. So what if I did 
two and a half. And then did this one in half, which it's four and a quarter. So two and a few eighths. <laughs> That's my quick math, which, you know, even my slow math isn't good. So there you go. Okay. Um, let's make this one um, just a double journal card. We could put pockets in it with this. Let's do that. Okay, guys, I'm going to just, I'm going to maybe leave these until um, after the video, I'll do the clipping and everything so that you don't have to watch me do that. Okay, oops, we need to slice that off a little bit because it tore when it was coming out of the pad. I have one pad of Tim Holtz paper that is so stuck on the top, you know, where they glue it that I can't hardly get it out. So, um, let's maybe use my scoreboard so I don't crack anything. This is eight and three quarters, which makes it real hard to do half. So I'm going to just pinch it and go with that with my pinch if I can see it it's hard to see I can't see it but I can feel it I'm gonna move that over a little bit so hopefully that's close good enough okay so that's gonna be that this is gonna go with that okay and this one I'm gonna do in thirds this was actually the cover of a Stamperia and I just cut it in pieces because I just can't bear to waste one little iota of that paper. Okay, I'm gonna say right about there. And then, okay, let's get that one done. Oh, lined right up, awesome. Okay, get that one folded. I should have turned it over, but that's okay. I can fix it. Okay, and then I'm going to give just an eighth of an inch or so. I think that will be about right. Okay, the top is not straight. That's pretty good. But we'll trim we'll trim her up a little bit. Um Yeah, I'm just going to trim this. I'm very excited because I ordered myself some long Tim Holtz scissors. Thank you, Jamie. Um, and yeah, my, the scissors that froze up on me, they were like $7 at Joann's. They were not good scissors. So I couldn't see asking my husband to do a lot of work on them. That sort of stuff isn't his bag anyway. So, um, but thank you for all the suggestions. <laughs> okay. So this one in half this way. Kind of. I'm going to cut it. Then it won't be so bulky either. So that's going to be a pocket on there. And this side, why don't we do this way anyway? As like a little tuck pockety thing. And then, so 
small piece can be for a cluster. Okay, so I think I'll give a little thumb hole there and a little thumb hole here. Not a very big one because I don't want to sacrifice the design. Okay, well, we're going to get out glue because my, my uh, goal is to get the bases done. Okay, but we are we are getting close here i'm going to leave a little of the pattern it's pretty oh i should have should have um inked but that's okay i can do it later just going to try and do it from the side okay there's a little there's a little journal card. Probably can't even see that it's so. But I also know that I've got Okay, that's a journal card that's going to go up here. Let's see all my tags. Got a lot of tags all done. And some not quite done. Those are here. I mean, look at this stack we're going to have to work with. Isn't that awesome? Alrighty then. Um, so I have some pieces of this in my little bits that I could do some pockets and stuff. So this one, I guess I need a pile of still needs some attention, but not right now. Okay, so I wanted to these because they're easy these are um, some coffee guide so I'm gonna I'm gonna do my little thing like this with it so all of you who have persevered through two parts of this I sure appreciate it I actually find this really fun so to be honest I wasn't all that devastated when I found all these scraps in my, in my scrapbooking paper I was okay with it because I'm like ooh, I get to make a whole bunch of bases and then you know then you have first of all you have extras if you're doing a journal and need something but then also you know, you can have a whole day of decorating, which I find, I find super fun. These are just paper doilies that were put on these papers when I coffee dyed them and baked them. Um, so, yeah. Okay. Now, onward and upward. I'm just going to start on this stack to the right. Now, this one, I obviously was making something. I have it kind of... I've got it scored, so... Okay, so I'm going to mess around with this. I may end up ruining it, but we'll see. So, I have, I have it scored this way, too. So what I want to do is I want to kind of add a V, go up here to the, I, I have no idea what I was originally doing with this, but when I saw it, I thought, well, I can make a little trifold thing. I think I maybe scored it wrong, and so that's why it ended up in my pile, but I don't know if that's what I did or what. It's been a while. I can't remember. Okay, just at a little bit of an angle there. And I'm also going to slightly angle the, the edges too, just so, so the pockets kind of look the same on both ends and keep it from being any sort of issue. Okay. So, can I go this way? Yes. 
And then if I go like that, I have that poking out. So that was the issue, apparently. So let's just cut that off, I say. There's a pencil. There's not a lot of pattern to it, so let's just we'll just chop it and then I'll I'll recut that pocket too. this. That's going to go in the uh, cluster pile and this one's going in the strip pile. Alrighty then. There. That's good. Okay, so I need to do this at a little bit of an angle. Easy peasy. I'm going to take just a quick second to do this so that I can um, glue these down. I promised I wouldn't do a whole bunch of inking, but I'm going to do a little bit. Okay, this one is smushing some, so I'm going to trim that. Now that it's folded, it's the others seem to be fine. I just didn't get this one quite up to where I needed to with my cut. So we're going to just give it a little more of a cut. That should do it. Yeah, now it will fold unimpeded, if you will. Okay, so now I'm just going to put glue here. Just glue these little pockets down and see we have all kinds of little tags we can put in there. So I think it'll take me some time to do the sewing around the ones that I want to sew around. Like, I mean, I could sew around the edges of this one if I wanted to. Um, so I don't think we'll decorate. We'll do that on another day. I think tomorrow we're gonna. So isn't that cute? Ah, I think that's fun. And then we can decorate, decorate these, whatever. Okay, I'm gonna put that in the sewing pile just because I think I might like to sew on that. How are we doing time-wise? Good, good, okay. So I at 10 after, I'm going to stop and we're going to have our surprise discussion. Okay, these, I do believe were journal cards. Slash, those could be tags. Oh, I was thinking of folding those, I think. Okay, I'm gonna round the corners. You could also use, you know, decorative um, corner rounders, like, you know, mine are kind of buried, so. But that's just so pretty, and like a little label over there or something. And then the back can be written on. So journaling cards. Awesome. Journaling cards. Uh, okay, so they need these need these need more than. And they'd probably be sewed around sewn around too. But okay. Just thinking through. Okay, these are super thick. You know what? I think I'm going to make those into tags. I feel like 
I, I think I was thinking of just folding them in half and having them be a double journal card, but I think they'd be really thick. And a big tag like this is often handy. So, I mean, we could put a big tag like that behind this. How tall are you? Better make sure you're not taller than the page. Yeah, so, oops, this one's even shorter. I think I want the cuts on this side. So, um, we'll make a variety of different journal cards in the next 10 minutes. Okay, this one is actually a journal card. It's cut wrong. I mean, it's a journal card from the paper pack, if you know what I mean. So, that's, that was easy. <laughs> this little one, it's got a fold right there. I think I'm just going to fold it in half. I have found I really have to use my bone folder. It makes my hands hurt not to. Um, and I'm going to use my quarter inch corner rounder on this. And this is just going to be a little journaling space. I'll ink the whole thing inside and out. And we'll put something on there and it'll be super cute. Okay, um, I'm going to round the corners of this and then we'll decorate the front, you know, when we decorate, um, use this nearly like a book page or something. We're just going to decorate the front because it's just plain, so that'll be good. Okay, this guy... I think we'll just round the corners. Oh, and then those. I know what I wanted to do with those. Okay, another journal card. These are more coffee dyed cutoffs. Um, what I thought I'd do with those is just fold them in half. They're obviously not cut quite straight. And then I thought I'd just do the edges. I'll start over there since I got a little curly bit right there. Okay. Got a curly bit there that just doesn't want to cooperate very badly. Okay, and then that's just a little extra writing spot. You can just tuck right in a journal. So that one is done. What did I do with my done things? Do I not have very much done? <laughs> Everything needs to be decorated. Okay, that's in a done pile. Okay, same with this one. That one cuts straighter. I have lots of these edge punches. I could do a variety of things, but I just grabbed this one out because it's fairly a fairly simple edge, and I kind of like that. Not, and not super deep. It's one of the smaller punches. So, okay, there's another one. Cute. And then this one. Okay. You know what? I think I'm just on this one. I might just round the edge because I've got a bad curl on this on this end, and it doesn't really want go into an edge punch. So that one's just more plain, but I like it. Okay. 
that over there, get rid of the bits. We could have a party with all those all those bits. This one I was thinking would make a really neat folded um, card. And I think I need to, I'm going to need to score it. Seven and a half. So three and a quarter theoretically, right? Oh, Gail, you're so bad at some things. Okay, well, we're going to do something different then. There's more than one way to skin a cat. Wait a minute. I'm going to make this go the other way. Ta-da! It's an envelope. <laughs> Such a goof. Okay. I think I wanted this to be a journal card, too. And it's a really hard length, so that's maybe not what it's going to be. <laughs> I might go another direction. Go ahead and go an easier direction. Okay. So I want to round these so it looks more like a envelope flap like so and we'll sew around it and that's going to be an envelope it wanted to be an envelope it didn't want to be a journal card oh boy okay so this one I have just a few minutes and we are down we have gotten down there guys but we still have actually quite a few things to to work with i think we'll stop for this section session after after this but then um i don't know we may okay i could do that um we're gonna have to have another session one of these days that's gonna be a little tag and i I don't want three and a half ish. Okay, I'm gonna put that with the strips. Tags are kind of the easy way to go. Anyway, these are gonna be more, um, I'll do those later. These are gonna be more pieces from my idea book anyway so um that's okay that we didn't get to those and it's I'll show you it's it's mostly the bigger pieces that we didn't get to so that's okay we will put those back in our little um rectangle scrap sack and I think we made some good progress because this bag was like full and now it's pretty flat. So that's good. We didn't get to this bag. So, you know, there's always more, always more scrap work to be done. But let's, let me show you what we got and then we'll talk about the surprise. So I have all these on the sewing machine. We have... A whole bunch of pocketed tags these and these we have hermelinda tags this is just a little journaling card I'll put that with the journaling cards we have an envelope a trifoldy thing a double and some pockets and belly bands so all those need to be sewn around then over here we have um, we have four of these flip downs. We have three of the um, of these pieces just to stick in a pocket. We have I don't know five four four um, sideways belly bands, and these are these are pockets as well. 
So probably sew around those. Then we have this stack of journaling cards. Everything from big to big to small. Half a dozen of those or so. And then we have this big old pile of tags that we've already cut. And then we have this pile that I need to make the slant cut on. So now the other thing I wanted to tell you is I'm just going to show you. This is my ephemera box. It is to the gills full. It's just so full. I also have a tag box, which is also full. Um, as well, this is my bin for Rachel's um, challenge that I'm doing. More ephemera. This is guy ephemera. And these are more pockets that wouldn't fit into the other one. So needless to say, <laughs> once I get these all made up, oh my gosh, I'm going to have so much ephemera. So here's what I decided to do. I decided to do a little surprise pop-up giveaway. And what I'm going to do is um, put together a package of ephemera uh, with the thought that you could make your own idea journal like this with all different kinds of ephemera. So um, I'm going to do a giveaway. I'm going to draw that giveaway on Monday, March 8th. And the reason I waited till the end of this, because um, this is part two of this. I did it yesterday for Scrappy Saturday. And I thought the people who, who watch part two are going to be my folks that watch all my videos and are my most loyal subscribers. So anyway, I just thought I I would do that. So uh, if you want to be included in the giveaway, put the words su surprise giveaway, surprise giveaway in your comment somewhere, like please enter me in the surprise giveaway or Thanks for the surprise giveaway. <laughs> Something like that. Because um, there'll also be comments from people who don't want to be part of it. So um, I don't want to discourage their comments, but at the same time. Um, so I'll do the random comment picker. And um, yeah, so I wanted my most loyal subscribers, people who um, watch all the time, you know, and, and there's a lot of you. So it'll, it'll be fun. And part of this is my um, celebrating 45,000 subscribers. So that, that number still just blows me away. It's, it's um, the population and then half again as much as the city I live in. And it just, I, that whole comparison <laughs> makes me, makes me just not believe it. So Thank you all so much for being my subscribers, for all of your kind comments. Um, uh, uh, unlike that other lady, I receive very few mean comments, so not to worry about that. Um, and so, yeah, I just thought for 45000 I needed to do something. Um, I've been so busy doing this is and that's that I hadn't put anything together for the 45,000 and I thought I'll just do kind of a pop-up surprise giveaway. I'm not going to put it in the in the title of the video or anything about it in the description box. I wanted people who got to the end of this video to be able to take part. So that's that's the scoop and um, on March 8th, 8th when I do the drawing I will show you I'll show you whatever ephemera that I have come up with for it. So I hope that'll be fun. And um, I just want you to know I appreciate y'all so much. So thanks for hanging in there till the end of this video. We will see you in the next one. Have a grateful day, everybody. Bye-bye.